Conventional steam propulsion. The graphic shows a traditional LNG carrier propulsion plant with two dual-fueled boilers generating sufficient steam for the main propulsion turbines and other auxiliary systems. They can be fired on boil-off gas, BOG or heavy fuel oil, HFO. A diesel generator is used as an additional power generating unit. BOG from the cargo tanks is fed to the low duty LD compressor which is controlled by the boiler combustion controllers. From the LD the compressed BOG is heated and delivered to the boilers via a controlled valve. If a sufficient amount of BOG is not available the boilers can be fired with HFO or supplemented with gas by forced vaporization. Dual Fuel Diesel Electric Propulsion Plant The graphic shows a dual fueled LNG carrier propulsion plant. The ship is equipped with an electric propulsion system powered by dual fuel medium speed diesel engines. In gas mode, these engines run on low pressure natural gas with diesel added as pilot fuel. They can switch over to traditional marine diesel, MDO or heavy fuel oil, HFO operation at any time. When burning gas, the engines normally use the auto combustion process, whereby a lean gas and air mixture is ignited together with a small amount of diesel as a pilot fuel. Gas combustion units, GCU, are fitted to burn large volumes of boil of gas when necessary. Slow speed diesel propulsion plant. The graphic shows an LNG carrier propulsion plant using two slow speed diesel engines. This is the latest propulsion solution introduced to the LNG shipping industry. Instead of using boil of gas from the cargo tanks to generate propulsion and electric energy, the ships are propelled by conventional slow speed diesel engines consuming HFO. The BOG is reliquified and fed back into the cargo tanks. Electric power is supplied by conventional HFO or MDO diesel generator sets. During ballast voyages, the cargo tank temperature can be maintained by spraying the reliquified LNG back into the cargo tanks. This helps to reduce the initial increase of BOG on laden voyages. Propulsion plant thermal efficiencies. The graphic shows that the slow speed engines burning heavy fuel oil have the highest thermal efficiency. They are followed closely by the dual fuel medium speed engines providing electric propulsion. DFDE. The steam turbine plant is the least efficient and the design has nearly reached the boundaries of maximum efficiency. The use of gas turbines has been restricted as the slow speed diesel engine plant and DFDE have proven reliability and better efficiencies. Propulsion plant emissions. A table shows that dual fuel electric plant pollutes the least. This is an important factor for owners choosing electric propulsion. The slow speed engines with reliquification facility are low on carbon dioxide emission but are high on NOx emissions. It is obvious that each combination has its advantages and disadvantages with regard to emissions. This is taken into consideration during plant selection.